So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now Cohen. And he's got some space here. Fighting room inside the 40. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Well, that's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? Hey, we got, you see it? You see it? On second down, here's Trubisky. Dumps that off to his running back, Jordan Howard. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so, and gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Trubisky. Escaping the pressure right. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. They were ball hawks last week. They had a trio of interceptions on defense in the first drive. They pick up right where they left off. They're creating quite a reputation for themselves, aren't they? And sometimes what happens is when they know that the defense can take the ball away, as they saw the, the previous week, now you try too hard to not let them take it away, and you force yourself into errors. They've intimidated them, in a sense, and gotten the ball from them. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. On second down, here's Tannehill. Looking for stills here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 24, and he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. Stills the intended target. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. Now they'll run it with Cohen. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bears have taken the early lead. Parkey adds the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. Jakeem Grant now to return. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The intended receiver was Jakeem Grant. That'll bring up second down. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know, we often talk about how offenses get locked in, and that runs over multiple games where they're really, you know, in that zone. Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example of it here. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, zero, second zero, and 10. Zero, zero. Hey, watch it. Go. Watch hey, hey, 20, 20, 20, 20. On second and 10, Tannehill. Looking for stills here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Off the toss, Cohen. Wasn't a ton of space, but a great move. He's able to work it to the 20-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. If indeed the Chicago Bears were looking for a nice change up to Jordan Howard at running back, they found it in Tariq Cohen. I'm telling you, this guy is shifty, quick, even though he's small in stature. Some people have called him the latest human joystick. How about that? That'll be fun for Madden players. Just 5'6, but as you said, he can move. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15 yard line. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. This is Cohen. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is Howard on second down. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. A lot of people call the toss a probing play to see what they can get against the defense, to see how they adjust and react. Their probing's working pretty well. That was a very nice run. On first and goal, Howard. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches, you say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Trying to punch it in with Howard. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The Miami defense trying to keep him out. They haven't let him in yet. Can they hold again here on third and goal? Trubisky will throw. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to make it fourth down.
Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. And the first play will be a field goal try from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Parkey's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? You made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That's what I'm talking about. Nice hit, boy. Zebra, zebra. Here's Tannehill now on second down. Going deep here for Stills. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, here's Tannehill going up top. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. So that is three interceptions now in this first half. And you hate to ask the question, but it, let's be honest. We're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. Now the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch a mock balance. And he did. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Trubisky to throw on second. On the right side, this is Miller. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. It felt like Mitchell Trubisky, the quarterback for the Bears, was in the draft room with his general manager because picking up this pass catcher from Memphis, Anthony Miller, made to order for a young quarterback. A nice slot who can make plays like we just saw. He is fun to watch. Went from being a walk-on at Memphis to completely rewriting the record books out wide. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Following the penalty, it's first and five, and you got to think offensively, all kinds of options. Go, 
This is Cohen on the toss. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Give him five yards there, and it'll bring up second down. Some good, strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Trubisky going to take it on the sneak. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm a little surprised by that call. Second and inches. It did what it was intended, but it felt like it was a free play waiting to happen. I thought they might take a shot. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Jordan Howard, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears will add on to their lead. And his kick is right through. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. Here comes Grant on the return. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And out come the Dolphins now. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. Had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work. And that's caught inside the 35. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A big play. Tannehill to Parker. 44 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. On first down, it's Tannehill. And nearly intercepted. That would have been a hat trick, his third pick of the game. Instead, second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Khalil Mack in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Here's Tannehill. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And now nothing but green ahead of him. Touchdown, Chicago. Taylor Gabriel, 96 yards. And the Bears will extend their lead. 
And I think it's safe to say we won't call many touchdown passes longer than that this year, partner. No, I would agree with that totally. And right now, you're looking at an offensive coordinator. Conservative would not go next to his name. <laughs> Risk taker? Definitely, because he valued the opportunity to create a big play against what could have been disaster if they end up getting sacked or fumbling the ball in the shadow of their own goal line. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again, the 25, second and 10. Back to the air, Tannehill on second down. And over the middle, this is Parker. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Leonard Floyd. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. Now he's flushed out right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way down inside the 25 before he's out of bounds. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. To throw is Tannehill. And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Tannehill. He sets to fire deep. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and ten. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. So we reach halftime with the visiting Bears out on top here. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. The return man is Grant. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically... And got his man complete! 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And that one results in 35 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. On first down, Drake. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The throw on second down is Tannehill. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Adrian Amos with a pick. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. First and 10 at the 19. From the red zone now, Tannehill spinning away. He dumps it off to Drake. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a gain of seven, and it'll make it second down. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. First target, first catch, and a first down. First and goal, Drake, and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose, and this is picked up by the Bears. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Pardon me, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Flush to his right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He throws it away, and now it's third. No grounding call there. He had a receiver near the right sideline. It was pretty clear there. He just needed to get rid of that one. And he did have a receiver in the area, but initially my view was obstructed, and I thought that was going to be grounding, but clearly the correct call made, and that is no call. Is that why you threw your play sheet down? Is that why you did it? Is that the flag? You can't be giving me up. I got a lot of hit. He's got a man complete. And they finally are able to take him down at the opposite 47. Trubisky hitting Robinson for a big one, 41 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding up and a big loss here as he's taken down. William Hayes coming hard that time. He's able to run him down for a loss of 12. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They go play action with Trubisky. And the pressure gets to him again. Kiko Alonso in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Off the play fake. Here's Trubisky. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's caught inside the 30. 
And he'll be marked down deep on Miami's side of the field. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And what can they do here on second and goal? Three red zone trips so far have yielded two touchdowns and a field goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that'll bring up a second and goal. Let's go run the ball Throwing here, Trubisky. Eluding the pressure right. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Now Trubisky. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Taylor Gabriel, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears continue to pour it on. Parkey with the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good return up past the 30, but was it aided by an illegal block or a hold? Let's see. So that will push him back. And now we know why I have a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back. That penalty will move them back. Tannehill and the Dolphins break the huddle. Come up first and 10 at their own 21. Now it's Tannehill. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Eddie Jackson picks it, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Back now in Miami. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Again, it's Cohen. And some room to work. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Every player I know tends to play the game in his mind before it actually happens. There is no way he thought that at this stage of the game, this would be his first big run like that. Yeah, but it's got a feel for him like the floodgates open a sigh of relief. Now we'll see if things can open up for him. See if it can continue. And he gets it down to the 32. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Out 
out of the gun. Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And Parkey's kick is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Here comes Grant on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people would think the very next time out, run the football and give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action. Show you. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Khalil Mack in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Back to throw, Tannehill. And he's going to go down again. Akeem Hicks in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Out of the gun, Tannehill going deep here for Parker. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. With this lead and the football, things obviously looking good, but maybe, you know, you've taught me this before, maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them, protect them, take care of the ball, move it downfield, run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. Again, it's Howard. Howard has the first down of Minson. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. The return man is Grant. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. T. 
Tannehill hands to Dre. And he'll power his way up near the 25. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Right back to Drake. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be third down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Miami. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Parkey adds the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The, the Dolphins getting set to go here. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, again. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Play action, Tannehill. And he hits his target, it's Kenny Stills. The reception good for seven, it's third down. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent, they have kept him silent. Defensive football 101, don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game, they've done a great job of doing that. First carry for Frank Gore back home here in Miami. And now running right through it. There goes Frank Gore. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So Charles are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's fitting is they ended the game on the field, that defensive unit on the field. What an exclamation.